Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a video game called Aldred Knight. It's 99 cents off Steam. It's definitely worth that price. That's controller support. So it's always a huge plus and almost a deal breaker for me these days. It's played by Bitstain. came out in 2020. We'll get right into it. Go through uh, level one here so you can see the tutorial. Gives a nice little backstory with a cutscene, which is very cool to see in a smaller game. And um, it's a nice art. I like the art I went for. It matches the in-game gameplay, I think, pretty well. There's your story down here. It also gives you plenty of time to read it. So some games will like blurb out very too too quickly, and you won't be able to read what it said. You're like, well, that's that. So here's our hero. The Knight of Honor, Aldred. Pretty good music. Nice backgrounds, a little bit of depth in the, the forest back there. Um, a to jump, double A, and X to attack. There's an enemy here. So, and that's it for, um, well, that's not it. Because we do have a spell. Got to find these in the, the level, get all those. So, combat's probably going to be the least difficult versus the platforming in the game. So, at least for what I've found so far. But a good amount of enemy types. I'm going to help this guy out. I'm going to tell you a little bit of something. Got an emerald, he's going to take off. Your standard, the same down and get through the platform. Got that. And then that's the tutorial level for the most part. It's going to be a little more in the next section. So mission complete. Tells you how many monsters you killed, the time you did it, and the coins. Also nice to see this in a smaller game to have like a summary screen. Over here. And B, it's a fireball. So your upper left hand corner there, green is your life, and then the blue is your, your mana. And I'm sure I got that coin, but whatever. Destroy those. So it doesn't have a dash, I can tell. I don't know if you acquire one later or not. So that's it. You have A, double A jump, X to attack, and B for fireball, which is limited. Avoid the spikes. Like that guy, I think he has a spike attack. Yep, pretty cool. Which I got hit by. So you want to explore all the levels to get everything, of course. Yeah. So that rotor blade, that's where the game gets difficult. You're going to see a lot more of those in the um, later stages. So a lot more precision jumping. So if you like platforming, uh, somewhat difficult platforming, then you'll definitely like this game. I'm usually a little more combat oriented person. And it has some, some blind jump, like, kind of get down. Because if you blind jump down there, you can fall on these spikes and get a cheap hit. And we'll go a little longer because I know there's like a scenery change pretty soon. Here. Summary screen. Now that enemy right there reminds me of uh, some of the soldiers from old Voltron Lion Force. The same kind of color scheme. And you have a new enemy type down here. This big guy. See what he does. Think he jumps. So you gotta avoid him. Yeah, I definitely play a lot worse for a dollar. Yeah, another enemy type here. Is you just avoid him because he's like pendulum things you have to watch out for. Yeah, I see. Here. 
here, we can jump through the middle. Change the scenery here. One more cave. Let's hit X to enter. Oh, got hit. Got a mage here. And then stuff like this. Oh man, my controller's not working very well. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of platforms and those rotor blades uh, later on they have to deal with, which can be a pretty frustrating, honestly. That's probably why I'm playing as much as I thought I would. But if you're into like that difficulty platform and stuff, you'll definitely like it. I still like the game. I pop it in every once in a while, I guess just to get frustrated at those things. But 99 cents, nice art, good music, usually solid controls, usually. So, give it a score out of 10, I'd give it a, a, a 7. So, I would give it a 7 out of 10. This is a good game and definitely worth the price. So, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.